You know when you go and you make a purchase on something and it actually just does what it's supposed to do and you just feel like, man, I wish everyone in the world knew about this? Well, this is that video for your vinyl collection. joke, this is probably going to go down as easily the best purchase I've ever made for my vinyl collection. That is a bold statement, but the J.A. Michelle record clamp is something that everyone who owns a vinyl record that was produced in the last 10 to 15 years should own. Michelle is how I think it's pronounced, Mitchell or Michelle. I'm going with Michelle. Most people have pronounced it Michelle out there online. So if I'm wrong, angrily let me know in the comments below. I'm literally shocked that more people don't talk about this and recommend it. Let's start out with what is this? You may have heard about record weights or stabilizers. I made a list of gifts that will surely be updated now for 2023 last year, and I featured this, the Fluence record weight. Now, these are intended to give more stabilization to your turntable, since more weight equals a better sound when it comes to turntables. That is a gross oversimplification. Please argue with me in the comments below about it. What are you, some kind of moron? But I've been misled or at least I was confused, and only one video in all of the vinyl community had the foresight to know about this, and that was Vinyl Fury, who made a video about this like nine years ago. But people say that record weights can help with dish warped records, and they are 100% wrong about that. I've also heard or have seen on many record store sites or places to buy vinyl accessories that you see record weights and clamps put together, but when you look and you really see, there's only just weights there. And to be honest, I have no idea if a record weight actually does anything. Again, please argue with me about it in the comments below. Come on, Mel, you're always up in arms about something. No, I'm not. I'm not always up in arms about something. Here we go, that's the spirit. I've used this Fluence record weight for a while, and I've really not noticed any difference at all. Now, record clamps, what the hell is that? How do you clamp a record down to a turntable while it is playing? Well, there's actually a few different products out there that attempt to do this, but first let's even talk about why you might need to do this. If you've bought more than 10 pieces of new vinyl in let's say the last 10 to 15 years, you have almost undoubtedly put down a warped record, more specifically a dish warped record, where one side of the record doesn't even touch the platter and the other side may play fine, sort of, but your stylus is actually tracking uphill at that point, which could lead to more issues down the road. I have had a ridiculous amount of dish warped records coming from all kinds of places over the last couple of years in particular. I've had to send back five copies of disc two of the Miles Davis UHQR 45 to not get a warped one. And for records like that, I'm paying a ton of money for, so I will do that. And luckily Acoustic Sounds is awesome and they take care of that issue. I've also had a ton of dish warped records come from Vinyl Me Please. And again, they will replace them when it happens, but I don't always wanna do that for a $30 record. And sometimes I get the record back and it's still warped again. And I don't want them to keep shelling out new records and just possibly make them go out of business. I would like them to have better quality control, but sometimes dish warps happen to get out there. And sometimes you can't send the record back. So so finding a solution to this was essential for me since I buy a lot of new records. This clamp is genius. And before I go on, if you find this helpful, please take a minute to subscribe. It really means a lot for this channel. And if you're like, dude, record clamps are nothing new. This is nothing new. I'm sorry, but I just found this in 2023 and I feel like more people should know about this. But definitely let me know about your anger in the comments below. What I hear when I'm being yelled at is people caring loudly at me. Okay, I've said a lot here so far, probably babbled on way too much, but let me just show you how this thing works first, and then we'll break it down a little bit further. Here's a warped record. This is from my Getter Records box set. This vinyl does not touch the platter on side one, as you can see here. Almost the entire record does not touch as it's going around. This will create static buildup and lead to noise, as well as making the stylus work harder, tracking it and lead to problems over time. Now here's the record playing using the J.A. Michelle record clamp perfectly flat, all touching the platter. So how exactly does this work? The key here is this felt pad that they actually include with the clamp. You put this pad down onto the spindle and platter first, then you place the record on top of it. The record is extremely wobbly at that point, and then you take the Michelle record clamp and you put a good bit of force down on the platter and you lock the clamp in place on the spindle. 
If you have a Fluence record player, it feels a little weird to push down on it like that because of the squishy feet, but it seems to work perfectly fine. The clamp itself actually has a threaded other clamp inside of it that as you screw it down, tightens onto your spindle. Just a quick note here, they offer two different models of this clamp, one that is a standard, and that's the one that I have here, and another one that's listed as R for Rega turntables. I think they have a smaller spindle on them, so it's designed to fit the smaller spindle. This lists for spindles that are six millimeters, and the Rega one is for five millimeter spindles. Now, I have a Fluence RT85 with an acrylic platter, and it works perfectly with that. A couple of quick tips, when you first get it, it might might take a few tries to get it clamped down. I think you actually need to break in the felt pad a little bit. Sometimes I had the clamp actually slip off as it was like trying to hold it down. You definitely don't want this happening while it's playing a record that could be a big issue for your stylus or your record. Clamp it down, wait a few seconds to see if it pops up. I've actually never had any issues once it stays down for a few seconds while I'm playing a record after that. So waiting a few seconds to be safe and you should be good. And like I said, after like a day or two, I've not seen this pop up again. I had to actually loosen the clamp to make it happen for this video just to show this example. The other trick happening here is that the material for this is like a really hard rubber material. It's not metal and it's putting down the pressure on the center of the record and it's still not damaging it. And it's not a weight, so it's not adding extra weight onto a turntable, which some tables shouldn't even have extra weight put on them. It could actually kind of hurt the spindle mechanism for the table. Now let's review for a second because I talk a lot here, but this is supposed to be super simple. Here is a typical listening session. You put down the felt, you put down the record, you clamp the record down, you brush the record, and you listen and enjoy. It is super easy. It works extremely well. Again, I could not be more impressed. Now, maybe you already knew about record clamps. Maybe you already knew about the Michelle record clamp. Anyone knows that. But I feel like the addition of this felt is kind of a game changer. I don't see this offered with other clamps out there and all the other clamps that I've seen are metal as well. So I don't think that it would actually allow flattening to the vinyl to the edge. Here is a great example of why I got this. If you saw the video where I talked with Steve Evans from Perfect Vinyl Forever, he attempted to flatten my Black Sabbath Paranoid Vinyl Me Please edition, but it went very badly and the warp actually never even got fixed. And the attempt at using the Orb Record Flattener, which is a great machine, actually killed the record. So I went and I found another copy of the record and this one was sealed, but a lot of the reviews on this on Discogs actually mentioned that people were getting warps in it and I got a warp as well. And that is when I immediately went looking for another solution because I was so frustrated about this and I found Vinyl Fury's video, which I'm gonna link to below as well. And this J.A. Michelle record clamp holds down that Paranoid record and now I have an awesome pressing of a great record in the color that I wanted and it's just great. I plan on making a video about all of my Black Sabbath vinyl coming out soon, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. This thing is extremely worth it. Again, this is not a sponsor video at all. I bought this cash and I have no affiliation with Michelle Audio. They are a super high-end audiophile company. They have some really high-end turntables, cartridges, and tone arms. This is probably the only accessory from them that I'm ever gonna be able to possibly afford. These are available on Amazon and I will link in the description to that. Michelle Audio is from the UK, so keep that in mind if you order direct from them. I will also link to their site in the description so that you can drool over all of their audio equipment as well. Again, I don't even know if I'm saying the name of the company correctly. Michelle Audio is, I think, how it's pronounced. I just can't say enough about products that actually work. These products actually get me excited to listen to music. I no longer feel the dread of getting slightly warped records. Edge warps might be a little bit trickier with this, but I feel like so many records nowadays are dish warped. I just got the Charlie Parker Record Store Day Afro Bop. It was warped. The New York noise that I got on Record Store Day was also warped. Now, all that being said too, I had a rash of warped records that led to me finding this solution. And now I've also got a bunch of new records that I just got that are all consistently flat as well. And I bet now that I got this thing to handle this problem, I'll probably never get another warped record again. If only that were the case. Okay, I've said enough. You should definitely go buy this if you have some warped records. I will see you guys on the next one.